Well, here we are. 20 seconds to Thailand, Thailand Rock. I'm wearing the mask because I'm not sure how everyone's reacting to mask or not mask today. Not really sure. Looks to me so far that nobody's wearing a mask except me. So let me just pull this down a little bit. Um, this place has changed a little bit next to the hideaway. We've got the warm up bar here, which uh, I think is owned by. I think it's owned by the hideaway. I'm not 100% sure about that. We'll get back to you on that. If it is for sure, we'll be hanging out here later on. I'm gonna get out of the middle of the road so I don't get run over. First time back in Pattaya for one year. Uh, for the memorial, for the celebration of Kev's life. God, I can't believe a year has passed so fast. But I wanna go down the road and look that, yeah, things are a lot more open than they were a year ago. Well, a year ago when I was here, everything was closing and I left the day that like they shut everything down for our second time no bars uh, 7-elevens everything it was like 9 or 10 o'clock everything had to be closed so so look so let me get back out here on the main road and see what it looks like and then I'll show you a picture from there they've got massages down here 250 an hour that's that's cheaper than that's cheaper than camelo prices that's cheap i mean i haven't seen it on this road i think this is soy bacow this i've never seen the prices that low over here so the a little bar open there Get the massage up in here we're right across from the hospital where they make also the custom motorbikes over here. You guys ever want to have a bike made uh, completely customized for you? God, they're not open today, or that's what, what the name of this place is. Anyway, they customize all the bikes. Not sure if you buy a bike, how transferable it is to wherever you're living. Like if I wanted to buy one here, I don't know what the rules would be for me to take it back down to Camelot, but those bikes are customized and overpriced for Thailand Rob. Even though I did get my bike fixed, by the way, it was a burnt valve, and uh, he didn't charge me a whole lot to get it fixed. It was pretty, pretty good deal for me, and it's running fine now. This bar is back open. I don't remember this place. I do remember these these little places being here and open. So down here on the corner, this busy, busy intersection, one of my favorite little places to go and drink with the coldest beer in Pattaya, and that was what they used to advertise, the coldest beer in Pattaya, is still not open, unfortunately. So I'm gonna walk a half a kilometer down the road and meet my friend Patrick. And then we'll have a couple of beers down there at a place that last year was closed. See, this place is it's not open right now. I don't know why, but they're not. It's sad too. It was a really, 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 really nice place to come and sit and watch all the crazy traffic that happens here. So I'm gonna head down the road to the corner Ah, hold on a second. Don't want to get hit by the traffic. This is a really precarious place to cross the street. All right. Thanks for the warning. All right. Now go. Now look. Go quickly. Subway, and you can even smell the bread here at Subway. Still very, very busy here. Unlike Camelot, very busy here. Plenty of massage places open. Plenty, 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 plenty. plenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So enough about this. I'm gonna head down here, get to the end of the road in the curve, sit down, order a Leo, talk to you guys in just one. Minute. And through the power of editing. Oh, this little cubby hole looks like they're still open. Sugar, sugar. All 
right guys, this place is fully, it's fully open. I mean, I'm just walking in every, there's, there's bars and bars and massage and massage and traffic and traffic and traffic. This ain't like Kemala. Uh, I can't speak for the rest of Phuket, but this place. And the other day when I was in Bangkok, there was a lot of people up in Bangkok from, at least from America. I was up there, I just went to the hospital for one hour and I met three. So, anyway. Oh, the hungry hippo. Remember Kevin and I used to come here? Kevin would bring me here. It was a very, very, very affordable place to get a good breakfast. I think it's an all day breakfast too. Look, it's all open. Up here is Tree Town. Well, heading up to Tree Town, it's all open. planned to be up here for a few days but might extend my stay a little bit just to see what the heck's going on yeah this is this is the tree town part looks fully open busy plenty of people yeah again uh, overwhelmed with how much is, is going on here Freaking everything's happening here. Guys, head on over, get, get over here and come down to Pattaya and have, yeah, okay, Woo. all right. I swear, the traffic is so busy. I'm so not used to this much traffic and everything's open. And there's so many new little places. I don't watch a lot of uh, Pattaya videos because I don't live here, so I don't know, but Obviously, had I been paying attention to a bunch of Patia videos, I would have seen that everything is freaking. Yeah. Then I would have seen and known that everything was back. Dude, this, it looks like completely back to normal to me. Now, I can't speak because I don't live here that it is but for me this is the re this is the way I remember oh check out this car that's pretty cool I don't know how you get tires to run that way for more than a month but okay everything looks normal to me crazy bars crazy massage places and a bunch of friends that looks normal to me oh. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Goody goody, don't forget that.